Hi guys and welcome to Soft Hints. In this video I want to introduce two errors which are common for beginners and they have hard times with them. First one is type error, sequence item 0, expected string instance int found and the second one is again type error, can only join an iterable. And both of them are really explicit and has all the information that you need, but sometimes beginners have problems with them. I will show you several examples and how to deal with them. And finally, I will show you how to secure your code against errors like this. So let's start with our examples, but before to do that, I want to share a joke from a commit strip again. It's uh, about error messages and how do you write them. As you can see, uh, this guy is having problems with the error message, which is not informative and has bad language inside. And I wanted to ask you, do you write error messages like this? And what do you think? Please do share in the comment section below. And let's go back to our examples. As you can see here, we have a list of integers and we want to create a single string by joining these elements with a comma. And let's execute it and we get an error sequence item. We want string but integer is found. So let's correct the first one and see what is happening. As you can see right now it's complaining about the second or the first indexed item and as you can see we can manually overwrite all of them but this is not good this is not a good idea. It's better to do something else but I will demonstrate it a bit later and let's see what we have here. If we have uh, this number two for uh, our my list then we get can only join iterable uh, both errors are saying that uh, we are doing uh, wrong usage of types and we need to convert our uh, list of integers to something else for example is list of strings and this can be done in several ways the first one is by using map then applying this is going to apply to all elements of this list this function string and finally we are going to create uh, the output in list and we'll print it out let's see what happens here so we have input list of integers and as output we have list of strings Another way of uh, converting, uh, and now of course you can uh, join them if you want. Let's just try to join them to see that we will not have this error. We can join them by. Sorry, so I need to provide this one here, and right now it's going to work. As you can see right now we have a string which is uh, joined with commas and another way of uh, doing this is by uh, using lambda expression which is iterating over all elements of uh, our list and applying a function string so we are saying here give all elements from our list one by one apply this function string and finally use the elements to join them with comma. You can uh, do this with map again. It's going to result in the same output. And what and how to prevent error, errors like this in our code. In general, you have two options. The first one is to check your type of your variables and then try to use your code. For example, here we have a list which is uh, not iterable, but we import collections and we use 
type iterable and we're trying to find is our variable from this type and only if our variable is from this type then we are going to execute this piece of code which is a good way to prevent errors like this and the second way of preventing errors is with try accept block we are uh, trying to see is our list iterable or iterator and if yes then execute this code if not if we get type error then we need to print a user friendly message not as the one we saw in the uh, this joke here because providing error messages like this can uh, irritate or can uh, really make people angry so this is all about how to deal with error messages i will share all the information in the description below and if you have any questions about this video or anything else related to linux python programming and whatever please do share them in the comment section below if you like the channel please do subscribe thank you for watching and see you next time